So I wanted to make a quick video clarifying a common misconception. So in the last video we found that our Q of our aluminum block, the heat leaving our aluminum block into water was 20,920 joules. So that's how much energy is moving across our system. Or another way to look at it is how much work is being done in the system, how much energy is just moving from one item to the other. Now, the misconception is sometimes people think this has something to do with time, and energy doesn't necessarily have anything to do with time. This energy transfer could happen in one second, it could happen in 50 seconds, it could happen in two hours, it could take a very long time or it could take a very short time. So to clarify this misconception, let's incorporate time into this equation. Let's add to this problem. Let's say, what is the rate of, and actually, let me pick a brighter color uh, just to make it easier to read. But what is the rate of energy transfer, otherwise known as power? What is the rate of energy transfer if the time it took for the energy transfer to occur is 10 seconds? So pretty straightforward, we're looking for power, which is just energy over time. That's what rate of energy transfer means. So our formula for power is, we could say work over time, which of course work is the same thing as saying energy. So we could say the energy transfer over time. And in this case, we are measuring uh, energy using Q. So we'll just say Q over time. This is the same thing. So to solve for this, we just plug in our numbers that we got here, which is, well, Q is 20,920 joules. And then time, let's go ahead and pick the right color here. Time is just 10 seconds. So that's pretty simple. We pull out our handy dandy calculator and we'll say, well, 20,920 as we got in our last video, divided by 10 seconds is, well, we clearly just remove a zero. That should have been obvious is just 2,092 joules per second. Or of course, we could have said power equals uh, 2,092 watts. Because as we learned, watts is the same thing as joules per second. Watts is just the correct unit used for power. But joules per second would also be acceptable because that's what it is.